Okay lads, let's up the intensity and the focus for this one. Next drill is the support plate, the ruck drill. So we're uh, looking at the clear out. Let's have the support player coming in to clear out the poacher. Let's have him good and low, accelerating into the ruck from about two meters away, hitting the hip window, getting him off his feet, getting him off the ball, and then back up onto your feet to protect the ball, okay? For the sake of the drill, Aiden, yeah. really get the head down, yeah? yeah. Um, because I mean, if you're like that, I wouldn't need to go for the hip window, you just go there, so get the head down on the ground. Okay, strong over the ball, Aiden. Identify the hip window, get him out of there, that's it. You're trying to, your shoulder, you're looking to hit him there with your shoulder. You're looking to get oh, your no. hand into that hole. So it's boom. Okay? Yeah. It's when he's really locked on. It's for good small number seven is locked on. It's probably the only way of getting him off. In the support play at the rook drill, the cones are laid out in a cross shape as shown. The width of the cross is 10 meters. The first player runs towards a cone on either the left or the right side and lies horizontally with the ball. The second player simulates a tackle poach position and the third support player approaches from the cone as shown and clears out the defender. Okay, strong over the ball, Aidan. Identify the hip window, get him out of there, that's it. Good. 